Hello, I'm Dr. Manish Mehta, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about aortic dissections. 9-11 was one of the most catastrophic days in the history of the United States, and over 2,500 lives were lost that day. Now imagine an emergent condition known as aortic dissections and other diseases of the aorta that threaten tens of thousands of American lives each year, equivalent to a 9-11 every other week. Aortic dissections are one of the most catastrophic and life-threatening events affecting the aorta that bring thousands of Americans to the emergency room each year and has been responsible for the death of some famous people such as John Ritter, Lucille Ball, and King George II, to name a few. The aorta is the main blood vessel that carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body and is similar in size to a large garden water hose. It wraps around the heart and travels through the chest into the lower abdomen and along its way gives rise to blood vessels that supply all parts of the body. An aortic dissection is a tear in the wall of the aorta that results in forceful blood flow through the middle layers of the aortic wall that can lead to weakening and separation of the aortic wall. Aortic dissection more commonly occurs in the thoracic aorta and is a medical emergency. If undiagnosed and untreated, it can quickly lead to death. The symptoms of thoracic aortic dissections are very similar to that of a heart attack. The symptoms are often described as sudden onset of tearing, sharp, or stabbing pain in the chest and back, and can radiate to the shoulders, neck, jaw, and the abdomen. The presenting symptoms often reflect the location and the extent of the aortic tear and dissection, and can be associated with severe abdominal and leg pain, heart failure, kidney failure, or even stroke. Thoracic aortic dissections are twice as common in men as women, and although can occur at any age, they are most common in adults between the ages of 50 and 70 years. Risk factors include hypertension, atherosclerosis with hardening of the arteries, family history of aortic disease, heart disease, smoking, blunt chest trauma, and genetic disorders such as Marfan's syndrome and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Thoracic aortic dissections are often underdiagnosed and undertreated. Since the presenting symptoms are similar to other conditions such as a heart attack, once diagnosed, the thoracic aortic dissection requires immediate medical attention. And depending on the location of the aortic tear and associated complications, the dissections are either managed by strict blood pressure control or repair of the aorta. Currently at many medical centers across the United States, vascular surgeons that specialize in medical, surgical, and minimally invasive endovascular treatment of the arteries and veins throughout the body are involved in conducting studies that are evaluating revolutionary therapies for treatment of these complex and everyday vascular problems. This briefing was made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, please visit vascularweb.org.